Governor Mahi braces up for herders attacks in a boring state. The people of a boring state have come under heavy attacks from herdsmen and militia in recent times, and this is aside the rising communal clashes in the state that the state is grappling with in different parts. The herders attacks have occurred in quick succession in the last three months. The first was a Gedege community in the Shiri government area of the state on the 29th of March, which claimed no fewer than 25 lives, including a Methodist church clergy. Many houses and other valuable property of Egedege people were burnt by the herdsmen. On the 12th of April, less than two weeks of the Egedege attacks, wow, um, the herdsmen struck again at Otebu and Obodo, or char villages of Omugodo community and Ohaku local government area of the state, killing about 12 natives. The attack took place at about 2 a.m. on that fateful Monday morning. Houses, motorcycles, cars, and other valuables were raised down, while the people of Eboin State were mourning these two bloody herdsmen attacks. The marauding herdsmen launched another attack on Eboin Venue. Border communities largely occupied by easy natives on the 31st of May and killed over 60 persons. Scores of the natives were also injured in the attack that affected Odokem, basically villages in Benue State. In the face of these attacks, a boy state government led by Devoma, he has been bracing up to tackle the challenge. He has initiated some policies and security measures geared towards tackling this menace headlong. A boy state has banned open grazing and enacted laws to back it. The government also banned the movement of cattle by foot into the state. The governor is a part of the outcome of a recent security meeting directed council chairman to use vigilance group in their various OGAs to enforce the state's law on open grazing. He further directed that any herdsman found coming into a boy with AK-47 should be confronted. Confronted? Can you be more specific? As in arrested and prosecuted? Amumai said, we want to put it on record that no herdsman is in a boy state as at now. We didn't ask them to leave, they left on their own, mm? meaning that they were privy to the attacks on Ebony State. I have been talking to their national leadership to talk to them that with what is going on in various states, no governor has control of the bandits. Isn't that unfortunate? And because of the killing of defenseless Ebony people, they have all left the state for their safety. For their safety, they should please not return. There is still high tension among the people who are potentially who are pretentiously speaking that they are protecting our people, referring to IPOBs ESN. So you're concerned about the safety of the people that inflict insecurity on your own people. Does this make sense? How can you be defending and saying that they should not come back? You're you're concerned about their security. Not that there's security if they come and they do anyhow. Uh, just there's security to come back because you value them more than the lives of your own airborne state citizens. All right. And so we have sent messages to the leadership of Mietiala. Please, airborne state is under attention because of these killings and we would want them to still stay out until such a time that it should be safe. Honestly, it's just the shade towards Ipobaniers. Like, Ipob's ears. Like, how, how does it how does it even make sense? Tackle one issue at a time because you're, you're now making the herdsmen victims and then making ESN the villains because you're saying they are pretentiously acting up to protect the people. How does this make sense? Because 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 the fact is because of how they were effective when they were, effective, when they were um, er, uh, launched earlier and established, because of their effectiveness, that was how for a while there was a lot of, a lot of safety and peace in the southeast because... Due to their help, they were effective in chasing out these herdsmen. And you say they left on their own accord. Uh uh. Such lies. Huh. Um, on open grazing, well, no need talking about that because there is no cow in a Boeing state now. There is no herdsman in a Boeing state now. But the position of the Emboy state government is that we have a law on open grazing, which is what? And the natives cannot continue to blame security agencies because security agencies cannot be everywhere. What? 
It is their job to be everywhere, please. Common sense. So we are directing the vigilantes to enforce the, the open grazing law of the state. Which is what? Can you, what is the open grazing law? At national level, the governors have said there should be no open grazing. We don't expect security agencies to be everywhere, but working with the vigilantes, local government chairman should ensure or enforce the ban on open grazing anytime the healthy headsmen return. Ah, such a sickle fans. All right. Um, again, like, first, I feel bad for the people of the boy state. I really do. Um, but don't worry. The protests are coming up. We're going to tackle a lot of issues. Are we going to make this kind of news trend? Um, so yeah, that's just it. That is it. There, I mean, there is nothing else to say. What more do you want to say about this? What more? What more do we want to say that we do not already know or that we do not already believe? It's, it's sad. Very, very sad. But I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> what do you expect? That sounds very rude, but it, really and truly, what do you expect? As uh, someone says, the man is letting all this happen because of his stupid and selfish and am- political ambition. Look at his politically correct statement. I mean, so it's like it's not even. At least sometimes I understand that you know you're going through a lot. At least you try to appease the people and be in line with the people and try to appease them even more. But it seems like you're definitely trying to appease the headsmen in this, in your speech. The healthy herdsmen. They left on their own accord. We are we are concerned for the safety of the herdsmen. Are you actually joking? Are you joking? But nationwide protests are going to happen. We're going to bring this up. We're going to hold you guys accountable. And that's just what it is. Um, it is quite unfortunate that a serving president cannot call his foreign kinsmen to order. Hmm. <laughs> It's too much to ask. I don't know. I don't know. It's too much to ask of this government at this point. But we will force them because, again, the power lies in the people, not otherwise. Many Nigerians will be gone and some will be slaves if General Buhari failed to address the issues of bloodshed and terrorists in Ebony State. Again, things do have to change. Things do. I mean, what more do they want? What more needs to happen? What more needs to happen? Because they really do not care. Because they're all settled. But then something needs to happen. Um, that would, that would put the government in the same position as the people, where the mentality would just change and they would be forced to do things on their own accord. As in, because of how bad situations can get for them. That, for example, let's say they are not allowed to, you know, travel out, or countries have banned nigerian politicians bringing in money i know i mean that's a lot to ask but just something needs to happen that you know what will put the nine what the privilege and the, you know the elites the nigerian elites or political elites into the same category as the nigerian people and suffer what they're suffering that is when we say that we're all going to work together to achieve a common goal a better nigeria basically do i think about this and don't forget to like and subscribe